Hey guys, so yesterday I was really stupid enough to spill my pre-workout on top of my MacBook Pro M1 that I got about a month ago, or less. Um, this is the pre-workout I take, and um, it's not an advertisement, it's just to show you guys what kind of thing got into my MacBook keyboard. It's like that thing. It's supposed to dissolve in water, but it doesn't completely do that, so... Um, it was most likely that there's, you know, a few, like, crumbs of this, um, tiny little caffeine underneath my keyboard. And mainly, I spilled it on this area. So, um, as I tested it, it, it appeared that it affected pretty much the keyboard T, Y, and 5. And, um, today I'm going to show you how to open this keyboard up for a few of you who get, you know, a little nervous if you're going to break anything. So what you're going to need is um, a thin guitar pick. I was lucky to have one. And uh, pretty much a anything that can blow out the air or you know blow the dust away from underneath the keyboard so that you can have a more free touch. And um, right now, as I test it, like it's supposed to feel like this. Like this is normal. You know, it feels like something's stuck underneath. Like it's got that, you know what I mean? It works fine, it's not like stuck stuck, but it definitely shows that there are like probably some tiny bit of crumbs of this pre-workout underneath. So just, I'm gonna show you how to open this. So with this guitar pick, it's pretty thin. It's about 0 point, I think three, four millimeters or less. You're gonna do it's just just bravely do it. It's not gonna break. Just stick it in. And then you're gonna open it like this. Hopefully I don't hit the water bottle again so that I don't spill it again. That would be a disaster. But I wish I had two hands, but just so that I show you guys. So there are four spots that hold on to it. So I did get a little forced to, you know, come out. But this is what it looks like. Um, you see those four spots? It just goes on top um, of those four corners. But anyways, um, this is basically underneath the you know keyboard. So uh, I've been just doing this over and over again because I couldn't really find other methods of doing it. But I could find some crumbs on the corners of this. So, per se, I just kept doing this, scratching it out with some of my pens or some sharp needles, you know, because I feel like these are what's making really things pushy. And let's, yeah. Okay, so I currently have all the keyboards out. Um, this is where the button pretty much presses on, the middle circular part. And um, as long as that gets pressed and comes back up pretty um, easily, that's a good sign. Um, and I try to keep off all the dust uh, away as much as possible. And um, hopefully it goes back better. But I do think over time it's just going to get better. But um, what you do is just, you know, hold it in place. And then you just, um, oh boy, I don't want this. Kid. Okay. And then you kind of get it all together. Okay, you just, you just press it and it works out pretty fine. Oh boy, although this one got a little stuck. I'll have to take that out and again or something. Okay, this one works much better. Okay. T's what I have to take out, but other than that, I think 5Y works a lot better than before. 